Hi everybody, what we're going to do is demo a product called FiberFix here and I'll give you my take on this product and how it works. So, in the package you're going to find two things. You're going to find your Fibrous Fix solution and then it also comes with some gloves too to wear while you're doing this. So, the first thing that I want to show you here is what I have that's broken, which is a vacuum cleaner. It's a uh, handle popped off and it broke right along here. Now, because of the way this is, I feel that I need a little bit of extra help to just keep it straight while I'm doing the fiber fix here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue, some crazy glue almost, or uh, this is Loctite super glue, to hold this together just a little bit. And this is very quick to set, so I've got to be real quick with it. So what I'm going to use here is put this on, I'm fairly liberal with it. And, uh, Set this on there and just hold it for a few seconds until it tightens. And that way I don't have to deal with trying to hold this up straight the entire time I'm doing this. So, all right. Okay, that worked. It's a little bit stiffer now. It's all being held up right now. We're going to work on our fiber fix solution here. So I've got my own gloves here that I'm going to use since these are a little bit tougher probably. I'm not going to, I just have these ready to go. So you're going to want to put on your gloves. I have my bowl of water right here, which is to the proper temperature. And I, let, I did that by just letting it sit out and become room temperature basically. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm going to get these gloves on. And it says not be careful about getting this on your skin, so I really recommend actually wearing two sets of gloves, not just one. So we're going to open up the pouch. We're going to follow the directions. As it says, we're going to put it in water. Okay, we're going to put it in water for about 10 seconds. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be good. We're going to remove some of the excess water. All right, we're going to wrap tightly around the object. So I'm going to start this up top here and wrap around down below. Stuff is a little bit slippery, actually, surprisingly. I didn't expect it to be this way, but. Hey, it's part of the fun of trying these things for the first time. There we go. We've got it wrapped around the main part of the joint. I'm going to keep going a little bit more. And then what I'm probably going to do is come back up and wrap it around again. And actually, there's a little plastic piece in here, which is pretty good for... You stick your finger in, it actually kind of rubs off by itself. Okay, now, we're towards the end here. We've got the last piece. There's a little plastic piece I was telling you about. Make sure this is nice and tight. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna kind of rub it. Make sure the residue is evenly distributed as it says in the directions here. All right. I think that's it. So we're gonna have to wait and see how this turns out. Let's kind of loose a little bit. All right. Coming down a little bit here. That's one other thing that we have to do here, and that is put on this vinyl wrap over top of it. So we're going to go around the exact same way. And it says to remove this after five minutes. There should be plenty of time for this to kind of cure and harden. It's been five minutes now, so I'm going to take off this plastic wrap that was on here. That's supposed to kind of keep everything nice and tight. And I held it the entire five minutes. I don't know if you need to or not, but I didn't want to take a chance of it coming undone. That's starting to look pretty good, and it looks like it's starting to really kind of stay together. So now we're going to let this sit for another ten minutes, and then when we come back, we're going to check it out and see how it feels. Okay, so it looks like this is fully dried now, and I just want to show you here. 
It does have, it looks like it's a lot stronger than it was. In fact, the plastic down here is bending on it rather than up here. So this actually worked pretty well. And these are two pieces that don't actually line up perfectly in size. There's this, this tube is supposed to fit inside this one where it broke. So this is surprisingly good material for what it is. It is I can see this working really well on a rake or a shovel even, especially if you wrap it maybe before it breaks, if you find that it's starting to kind of crack a little bit, this could really hold it together. So I'm, I'm fairly impressed. Uh, what this reminds me of actually is what they have when they make boats. They have a fiberglass that they lay down, they spray with the resin and they smooth it out. And this kind of reminds me of that, which is very strong. And uh, they also include a little piece of sandpaper and you're supposed to be able to sand this down as well. I don't feel I need to do that. I might maybe a little bit on the back here, but a little bit of a piece that's sticking off a little bit that I might have to cut off or trim up. But other than that, it worked very well. It feels very hard. And as you can tell, I can't really break it or move it. I'm using quite a bit of muscle here. So I, I give this product an okay and I would recommend it. So again, that for, for people that are curious, it's Fiber Fix. 